Welcome to Bachman's wonderful world of electric trains, a world that celebrates the sights and sounds of the golden age of railroading. It's a world of fond memories, where a child's delight signals a tradition passing from one generation to the next. And with Bachman's easy to assemble, easy track system and magnetically operated easy mate couplers, it's a world that's never seemed so real or been so exciting. We know you're anxious to get started building your railroad, and we're ready to help with some valuable setup, operation, and safety tips. But please take just a few minutes to watch this video all the way through. It gives you the information you need for the best and fastest enjoyment of your Bachman train. Your train set comes with a list of contents. You should review this list to be sure you have all the parts needed for assembly. In general, your set will include a locomotive, rolling stock or cars, easy track sections with either steel alloy rail and black roadbed as shown here, or with nickel silver rails and gray roadbed. A terminal re-railer track section. Power pack. Plug-in terminal wire and under track magnet. Please note that during shipping, a car's wheel set may sometimes pop loose. The wheel set can easily be replaced by gently prying apart the truck and repositioning the wheels. The one extra thing you'll need to complete assembly is a small screwdriver. When you have that, you can get started. The first thing you need to decide is where to set up your train. Any dry, firm, and flat surface will do, such as a floor, carpet, or tabletop. To make sure you have enough working room, it's a good idea to make a rough track layout by loosely placing sections of track in the configuration desired. Please note that the terminal re-railer section will later be connected to the power pack and power supply, so it's best to place it in a location convenient to a wall outlet. This is also a good time to install the undertrack magnet that will later be used to operate your train's EasyMate knuckle couplers. For best coupling and uncoupling results, install the magnet on a piece of straight track. Installation on curved track or the terminal re-railer track is not recommended. The magnet attaches directly to the underside of Bachman's Easy Track with the double face tape provided. Make sure that the magnet and metal intensifier plate are centered under the rails with the metal plate facing out, and then press them firmly into place. For help in locating the undertrack magnet's position after installation, place the accompanying brakeman figure trackside next to the magnet. Or, if an adhesive indicator is provided, it should be centered adjacent to the magnet and applied to the side of the track. Once you've decided on all track placement, it's time to start assembling the track. This is probably the most important step required for successful operation of your train. Good track connections ensure a smooth operating surface and continuous contact for the track's electrical circuit. When assembling the track, push it together firmly and at the same time, make sure the rail and rail joiners are seated properly. The rail joiner should slip over both bottom flanges of the rails, here and here. You must take care that the rail joiners do not slip under the rails without properly connecting. This will result in train derailments and electrical circuit interruptions. With a little practice, the track sections will snap together easily. But take your time. It cannot be overemphasized how important track assembly is for proper operation of your train. After your track is assembled, you need to double check for joint connection and fit. Do this by lightly running your fingers over the top surface of the rails in both directions. Any problems will be detected by bumps or distortions on the track surface, and these can be corrected by carefully checking the rail joiner fit. Okay, the track is assembled and we're ready to make the power connections. But hold on, don't plug the power pack in yet. For safety reasons, turn the power pack control to the off position and leave it unplugged while we review the connection procedure. 
Power is supplied to the track in the locomotive by the power pack, terminal wire, and easy track terminal re-railer. The first step in power connection is to attach the terminal wire to the power pack. With the power pack still unplugged, connect the terminal wire to the DC posts of the power pack. If AC posts are provided on your power pack, be sure you do not connect the terminal wire to the AC posts. The AC posts should only be used for accessories you may later add to your layout. Track connection to the AC posts will cause locomotive motor and light burnout. So be sure to connect to the DC posts and then connect the other end of the terminal wire to the terminal re-railer track by simply plugging it in. With the exception of plugging in the power pack, your power connections are now complete and it's time to put the locomotive on the track. Do this by running the locomotive's wheels back and forth over the terminal re-railer track. When the locomotive glides smoothly over the track, you know the wheels are all on and you are ready to go. This is the part we've been waiting for. Now you can plug in the power pack and begin feeding power to the track by slowly moving the power pack control to the forward position. When you do this, observe the direction the locomotive travels. If it moves backward when the control indicates forward, stop the train and then simply disconnect, flip, and reconnect the terminal wire to the terminal re-railer track. The locomotive will now move forward as the power pack control indicates. Look at her go! You can now place additional cars on the track by running them over the terminal re-railer. If your set comes with a tender, this should be next and it attaches to the locomotive with a special drawbar coupler. Add the rest of the cars to your train by placing them on the track and gently pushing them together. Their operating EasyMate knuckle couplers will engage automatically, but be sure you are not trying to couple cars when they are positioned over the undertrack magnet. The undertrack magnet is used for uncoupling cars and we'll demonstrate its use a little later. An additional feature that some sets come with is a smoking locomotive. If your locomotive smokes, place just three to five drops of Bachmann smoke fluid down the smokestack. With smoke fluid in the fluid reservoir, your locomotive will puff beautifully for added railroad realism. Here is an action checklist for you to follow if your train doesn't run or stops running. Make sure the power pack is plugged into a live receptacle. Make sure all locomotive and car wheels are on the track. Check to make sure all wiring is secure and there are no crossed wires. Check to make sure the track is properly assembled. And if your train hits a bump or derails anywhere along the track, that section of track may not be properly seated in the rail joiner. Check once again to make sure all track is properly installed. If your train stops or fails to start, a short circuit may be indicated. If this is the case, unplug the power pack immediately. There are several common causes of short circuits that can be easily corrected. Derailed wheels may cause a short, so check to make sure all wheels are properly on the track. Also, check all connections and be sure that no metal of any sort is across the rails, including metal-coated holiday tinsel, ornament hooks, or screwdrivers. After checking everything carefully, resume operation. Please note that your power pack is protected by a circuit breaker that automatically resets after a short circuit is corrected. You should allow up to five minutes for the circuit breaker to reset before resuming operation. In this section, we'll demonstrate the principles of EasyMate coupler operation so you can become a true railroad yardmaster. As you have seen, coupling two cars with EasyMate couplers is simply a matter of pushing them together when they are not over the undertrack magnet. And as is standard with all magnetically operated knuckle couplers, 
Uncoupling occurs only when couplers are positioned over the undertrack magnet and when there is no tension between them. Watch how the couplers move when they are over the undertrack magnet. Also note that couplers pulled over a magnet with constant tension between them will not uncouple. To uncouple EasyMate couplers, stop two couplers directly over the undertrack magnet. If you wish to drop the uncoupled cars where they are, simply move the locomotive forward, leaving the uncoupled cars behind. If you wish to push the uncoupled cars to another location on your railroad, make sure the couplers are set in the open position over the magnet by pulling the locomotive a short distance away from the dropped cars and then backing slowly across the magnet. With the couplers set in the open position, you can push the drop cars to any location beyond the undertrack magnet. With a little practice, you can give the drop cars a bit of a kick to push them to their desired location. This is especially fun when you've expanded your railroad with switches and track sidings. In any case, to recouple any two cars, gently push them together again. If cars will not couple, check to be sure they are not positioned over the uncoupling magnet or parked on a curve. If cars will not uncouple, check to be sure the couplers are positioned directly adjacent to the magnet position indicator or brakeman figure, and that the indicator or brakeman figure is placed in line with the center of the undertrack magnet. Also check to be sure the magnet is securely attached to the underside of the track and fitted with a steel plate provided. Your Bachman train is a carefully engineered scale model and like any fine piece of machinery it will perform best after a few hours of actual running time. It will also perform best under clean operating conditions so care must be taken in maintaining your train. Clean track and clean wheels ensure good electrical contact. After about every eight hours of operation, wipe the track rails and expose portions of your locomotive's wheels with a soft, lint-free cloth. The removal of a black residue is normal. Do not use steel wool to clean your track, since its metal fibers will damage your locomotive. If your track should become very dirty and dull looking, clean it with one of the recommended track cleaners available at your local hobby retailer. Common solvents are not recommended since they may damage plastic. After cleaning, make sure your track is free from lint, fiber, and loose materials which may be drawn into the motor. After every 24 hours of running time, your locomotive requires light lubrication to keep it in top operating condition. You don't run your car without oil, and you shouldn't run your locomotive without oil either. You must use a plastic compatible, hobby quality lubricant. For best results, we highly recommend the use of Bachmann's Easy Lube brand of professional lubricants. It's important to choose the appropriate lubricant for each job. Easy Lube is available as light gear oil, heavy gear oil, grease, and conductive contact lube to cover all your hobby lubricating jobs. If you're in doubt as to which lubricant to use, visit or call your local hobby retailer for assistance. When applying lubrication, restraint is the key to a lifetime of enjoyment. Over lubrication will, in fact, cause locomotive damage, so use a very light touch in its application. We're going to review the lubrication procedure on these steam and diesel locomotives. The steps we take can be generalized to many different locomotives, with the basics being to apply a small amount of lubrication to all motor bearings, axle bearings, and additional bearing surfaces, and in the case of steam locomotives, to all exterior operating valve gear. To get started with this 060 steam locomotive, make sure it is cooled down for a few minutes after operation, and then remove just one Phillips head screw at the very back of the locomotive. If additional screws need to be removed for your style of locomotive, keep the screws in their proper order, as their length may vary and you want to replace them correctly. To remove the locomotive shell, locate this tab that snaps into this slot in front of the air cylinder. 
use a screwdriver to gently pry the shell up and away from the tab and then lift the shell off the frame. If your locomotive has a smoke unit and it's loosened during this process, simply set it back in place, making sure that the contact ears touch the sides of the frame. Be careful to avoid touching the fine wires in the smoke unit as they are very delicate. Also at this time, if your headlight needs to be replaced, it can be removed by gently prying it up with a small screwdriver and then inserting a new lamp with its wires touching both sides of the frame. Replacement smoke units and headlamps may be purchased by contacting Bachman's service department. To begin lubrication, place just one drop of Easy Lube light gear oil on the back end of the motor shaft. It is difficult to show, but you should place a second drop between the motor and the brass gear. Picture the place where the motor shaft would meet the brass gear and apply oil there. Now place three drops of light gear oil along one side of the brass gear and, using a toothpick as an applicator, place a small amount of gear grease on the brass gear as well. There's no need to lubricate both sides of the gear as the lubricants will be distributed as the locomotive operates. A little goes a long way, so be sure to remove any excess. Now, switching to conductive contact lube, touch one small drop to each wheel axle by pushing the wheel sets to first one side and then to the other. Going back to the light gear oil, touch a very small amount, just about a quarter drop, onto each crank pin and rivet of the valve gear. Also, be sure to lubricate the piston rod that slides in and out, the top and bottom of the valve guide, and the large rivet located behind the valve guide. The last thing to do before closing the locomotive is to place a very small amount of conductive contact easy lube on the surface of the main drive wheels. A small amount of this highly concentrated lubricant will reduce the amount of amp draw required by your locomotive and increase electrical pickup for smooth operation. You don't need much. Just touch the applicator to each wheel surface without squeezing the bottle. You can now place the body shell back on the frame by aligning it and pushing down until it snaps over this tab located on both sides of the locomotive. Without over tightening, be sure to replace any bottom screws that were removed before resuming operation of your train. To access the interior of a diesel locomotive, gently pry the sides of the shell away from these tabs and then carefully lift it up and clear of the front coupler. Only one small drop of light gear oil goes inside the diesel locomotive and that's on the exposed motor bearing. If your headlight needs to be replaced, the old headlight should be cut out and a new one, available from Bachman's service department, can be spliced in by soldering. Before moving ahead to the next lubrication procedure, you should replace the body shell. Carefully insert the front coupler through the shell and then seat the shell until the frame tabs fit through the shell slots. Now it's time to lubricate the wheels by applying a small drop of light gear oil to each exposed portion of the wheel axle where it meets the frame. The last step required for diesel lubrication is to apply conductive contact lube to each wheel surface that does not have a traction tire. The traction tire configuration changes for different locomotive styles. So the important thing to remember is that the tire should remain dry for proper operation. You should apply conductive contact lube only to exposed wheel surfaces. Again, you don't need much. 
Just touch the applicator to each wheel surface without squeezing the bottle. Now you're ready to really start having fun with your Bachman train. With careful setup, regular maintenance, and sensible operation, like not leaving it running unattended, and unplugging the power pack when it's not in use, you'll enjoy your Bachman train for many, many years to come. And when you're ready to expand your model railroad empire, be sure to look for the Bachman, Silver Series, and Spectrum names for the best in product quality. Bachman offers a complete line of separate sale, motive power, freight and passenger cars, snap together Plasticville USA building kits, steel alloy and nickel silver easy track, and additional accessory items. Bachman offers everything you need for really big adventures in model railroading. All aboard!